what's up guys my city records colleen aka ck so just want to start off telling you how i got my artist name obviously if you see me on facebook colleen kennedy ck it's my initials you know keep it short and sweet like me but at this point you know i don't really feel like coming up with a nickname for myself i used to have one i used to be tipsy you know in my young and wild and crazy days but I rarely drink anymore and I've calmed down quite a bit. So it's not exactly suitable for me. So CK it is, right? Colleen Kennedy. So I'm from Toronto, born and raised. I was born in Mount Sinai Hospital. I went home to 640 Lauder Avenue, which is Dufferin area. I stayed there and lived there till I was about going into grade two and then moved out to Saga, bounced around there for a few years and then went to Etobicoke and bounced around there a little bit. I did six different elementary schools and then I did about six different high schools too. So it was all pretty much west end of Toronto, some time in Saga, did some time in Brampton. My mom shipped me off to foster care. You know, I was that wild child she couldn't control. And then I did some time in North Bay. There was someone I was with. They had family out there. Wanted to try like a different lifestyle, slow it down a little bit. But I missed the vibe too much of the city. I missed the lifestyle. So I came back and, you know, I don't plan on leaving again, right? Uh, my mom was born in Etobicoke. My dad was born in Scotland. But um, he came to Toronto when he was young, about eight years old, I want to say. And um, he was in the West End of Toronto too. He went to Kent. He went to Central Tech. He was making baseball bats in wood shop. Christy Pitt boy, you know, beefing and stuff with the Dufferin Park boys, which is funny because um, I ended up in Dufferin Park and <laughs> spent more time drinking than anything. But yeah, it's crazy how it kind of went full circle. But I don't plan on leaving my city and I plan on raising my kids here. So yeah, Toronto, living it up. <laughs> so how long have I been writing for? I've been writing for pretty much as long as I can remember. I remember being in grade school and writing some story that I made into a poem with my friends. And we went around to all the classrooms and we read it to them because, you know, we were just that good. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've written for therapy pretty much, you know, when I'm just not feeling right, when I'm feeling down, when I'm hurt, when I'm, you know, just not feeling something. It's just therapy for me. And, you know, I know the paper and the pen, they're not going to judge me. They're not going to be like, yo, suck it up, girl. Right? It's like I'm allowed to feel how I feel and I'm allowed to be weak in the moment. Right? So, yeah, it's, it's a good form of therapy for me. So, I will continue to do it as long as I can. <laughs> so, what app do I use the most and why? Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I just like, it's habit now, you know? I open my phone, boom, I hit Facebook, like, and then I'm just scrolling and I feel like I'm not even watching anymore. I'm just like randomly scrolling. Like, it's just a habit at this point. Um, <laughs> but I use it, I keep in contact with my family, my friends, you know, they're not close. They've all moved away. I can see my nieces grow up. I can see my friends' kids grow up, you know? And it's nice, because otherwise, fuck, I don't know when I would see them. So that and then marketplace. I'm a sucker for marketplace. You know, a lot of the pictures I have in my house, I got from marketplace furniture. You know, I can't, I just can't resist a good deal, right? <laughs> and then other than Facebook, um, the library app, Libby, you know, books, me and my girls are all about books, books, books. So yeah, that's other than that like I don't really have apps you know I have Instagram once in a while like I don't snap I don't do nothing like that so Facebook it is 